Shaw University has cleared the first hurdle to redevelop parts of its historic campus in downtown Raleigh. That plan is facing opposition from some alumni of the first historically black university in the South. WRO's Matt Tallhelm is live outside the Raleigh Municipal Building with reaction to a decision made there within the last two hours. Matt. Yeah, Renee, the Planning Commission voted 7-1 to one inside here to approve that rezoning. Now, to give you an idea, Shaw has 27 acres here. They'd be able to build buildings as tall as the Wells Fargo Tower up there, 30 stories tall on this campus here in downtown. Alumni, staff, and students of the HBCU packed into the Planning Commission meeting this morning. Some of them opposed to this rezoning. Others were wearing red shirts in support of this Shaw U district. That's what the university is calling this project. The rezoning would allow Shaw to work with developers to build those 30-story tall towers on the bulk of its campus between South Wilmington and South Person Streets. Right now, the university doesn't have a master plan for what this district would look like, and that was a concern for the lone member of the Planning Commission to vote no on this rezoning. And without seeing the plan, it's hard for me to say that it's in the interest of the community in which the university sits. Our students at Shaw can have the same amenities surrounding them that you see at NC State being developed around peace. We now have that opportunity for Shaw and its surrounding communities. Shaw's president says redeveloping parts of the property will allow the university to make some money off of that development and build a more modern campus for its students. She also promised to protect the history of the campus, which dates back to its founding in 1865. This rezoning does require Shaw to preserve and protect four historic buildings on that campus from any new development. Now, the planning's recommendation, planning commission's recommendation for approval of this rezoning goes on to city council, and then city council will have to consider all that. There is a group called Save Our Shaw that includes some alumni who are opposing this. They say that this would erase the history of their university. Matt Tallhelm reporting live in Raleigh. Matt, thanks.